Is X Defiant really dying? There's rumors flying around saying that it's gonna die, that if it doesn't get player numbers up, I'm just gonna give you the real answers. I dove deep into it. I'm gonna give you all of the websites, the blogs, the articles, everything. Let's dive deep. Let's go. On August 29th of this year, Insider Gaming had put out a article, a, an article, titled, Exclusive, X Defiant is on borrowed time as player numbers decline rapidly. Now let me read you into this. According to several sources at Ubisoft, Ubisoft San Francisco has until the end of Season 3 of X Defiant to improve the game's bleak playing numbers. They go on to say how X Defiant had all this buzz getting over 8 million players in the first week giving Q1 2025's financial success for Ubisoft all of this great abundance. But then they always go and pull back to how there's a toxic work environment and how there's an internal investigation about how the leadership isn't taking the responsibility for project shortcomings, etc. Yada, yada, yada. This sounds like some dude who wasn't good at their job got fired from Ubisoft and then he put out this article to get paid from Insider Gaming or what have you. Or maybe he's just jealous being idiot face stupid bitch and wanted to put a bad name on the people who had fired them. Yet, in a recent article by Logan Moore, I will put all of these articles in the link and the links in the description. The X Defiant dev shoots down the rumors of its demise. Let's dive deep. Those at Ubisoft are pushing back on the recent rumors that X Defiant soon be on its way to getting shut down. Earlier this month, a high profile reported emerged and suggested that things were looking grim for the future of X Defiant. Not only were those in charge at Ubisoft sad, said, sorry, to be disappointed in the multiplayer shooter's performance, but members of the development team were cited as losing morale. Now, in this wake of this report coming out, Ubisoft is making it very clear and it is standing beside X Defiant for the foreseeable future. In addition, Ubisoft also responded to this month's report and said that X Defiant is overall doing well and isn't in any danger of dying whatsoever. Despite this, was also acknowledged that there are some current issues with the game that could be improved, such as netcode and hit registration, and adding more content to progression. But this game is doing very well. We just wanted to do better. And we do that by addressing the concerns of our community, which has always been the plan. Ubisoft is very behind us and has allocated even more resources to the team in order for us to do that. So if we take all of this information in and look at it, the grand scale of things, right? This article that X Defiant is getting shut down came out one to two days before the Black Ops 6 beta came out. Now. We don't know if this is a hit piece. We don't know if it's anything. It could be whatever. With You don't know with this day and age of information. But what we can go off of is past previous track records. The X Defiant devs have been telling us they're going to build a game based on our community feedback. They have been clearly doing that to us. They haven't lied to us once. How many times have media outlets lied to you? So who are you going to listen to? You see what I'm saying? The, the track records just only add up. Are you going to listen to the people who are working on the game and actually putting out the stuff? Or are you going to listen to Gaming Insider who got just a news article who could be from anyone? And that could just be someone Activision hired to put a hit piece out on X Defiant so that it has a bad rap before it goes live with Black Ops 6. Just like they're doing with, you know, Season 2 about to drop right when Black Ops 6 is going to drop. It's kind of coincidental. Now, you might say that's too conspiracy theorist-like. That's way, no, why would they ever do that? Now let me, let me enlighten you on what happened with the Modern Warfare 2 Remastered mod. I think it was H2M mod. It was running on a Modern War, COD 4 Remastered game on Steam. So you had to pay to buy the Activision game to then run this mod. This mod was getting built for years. And people, they just let it keep going. Get it built up for one to two years. Activision meaning. Then, when this game got amazing hype, an hour, one hour before the mod is released to the public, they got cease and desisted by Activision. 
and the reasoning behind the cease and desist was because it was going to put too much pressure or take away too much uh, eyes away from the new Call of Duty coming out. So it's almost like defamation or something. And it's like, damn, bruh. Are you serious? You guys are scared of a development team that's just having fun with your game and doing better stuff? Better than, with years old resources, they're doing better than you guys and you cease and desist. And you don't think they wouldn't just pay someone to go put a hit article out. It's just very skeptical, well, not skeptical, it's very skeptical and it's just very fishy and very weird and I don't know. I'm just here to report on what I'm seeing. You know what I mean? I'm just like, yo, I love X Defiant. I love Call of Duty too. But I want a good Call of Duty game. I want a good FPS. I want the game to feel fun and play. Is that too much to ask for? No, I don't think it is. That's just about gonna wrap it up. Make sure you guys subscribe for more X Defiant content and Call of Duty content, any FPS content. That's your boy, Paddle Thumbs. I got you covered. We got season two of X Defiant, what's coming in for us, and we're going to cover the one-year road map. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until the next one, get 1% better. Paddle thumbs out. Hey, you subscribed. Does it feel good?